Today topic is non-inductive type wire wound register. Here I have shown one core required for making wire wound register. Material of this core is non-conductive type like ceramic. Then we take a long wire and make so many tons of wire around this core so it becomes a coil. A normal wire wound dresser may have one coil but non-inductive type wire wound dresser has two coils. Now I will show you first coil. First coil is shown using green color. You can see there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tons. But number of tons may be much more depending upon the value of register required. Now I will show you second coil. Second coil is shown using red color. This green color coil and red color coil have equal number of tons and they are connected in parallel here and here. But there is a big difference between these two coils. If you see from this side, then you will notice the direction of tons of green color coil is in clockwise direction. But tons of red color coil are in anti-clockwise direction. So because of clockwise and anti-clockwise direction, their flux gets cancelled. Suppose green color wire have flux direction like this. Flux is inside. I have shown direction only here. And red color wire flux is in this direction. Then both are opposite in nature and will cancel each other and net flux inside this coil will become zero. So it becomes non-inductive. So we call it non-inductive wire wound register. This type of register is used where we want no inductance. We use this type of wire wound register in a snubber circuit. The snubber circuit was connected in parallel of high voltage thyristor. We wanted to suppress high dV by dt and inductance of the register was making problem. So we wanted non-inductive type wire wound register. Today we will close now.